Some movies are so brilliant that they help prove that cinema can be art. Others, however, are so horrendously vile that they instead create a void that scars your very soul, showing that art is overrated. That's an hour and a half I'll never get back. The room begins when Lisa, a woman engaged to a semi-successful banker named Johnny, gets bored of the relationship and cheats on him with his best friend Mark. And that's the story. There's nothing more to the story besides the several incomplete subplots. A drug dealer who wants his money, an unexpected pregnancy, a mother who refuses to die from cancer. Besides their lack of cohesion to the main plot, all are subplots that fade away as soon as they're introduced. And you're gonna wish that you could fade away as well, so that you can avoid 90 minutes of despicable characters and agonizing plot. The room is more boring than real life! Besides this, the main plot doesn't even come close to a three-act structure. The script is a complete mess, completely devoid of any plot points. Not to mention that when compared to great films like The Godfather or Citizen Kane, Tommy's direction seems unnecessary, in terms of needless shots, as well as several angles that don't properly convey the film's tone. On the other hand, Tommy Wiseau has actually taught me a lot about sex. Apparently, a good position that most people don't try is belly button sex. Here's the worst part about Tommy's masterpiece. Tommy Wiseau is probably the worst actor of all time. His acting talent makes Arnold Schwarzenegger seem worthy of an Academy Award. Besides the poorly written dialogue in which characters say exactly what's on their mind, Tommy butchers the English language with nonsensical one-liners that were never meant to be funny. In addition, his thick accent and strange delivery has an element of Christopher Walken. I did not hit her. That's bullshit. I did not. Besides Tommy, you also have Juliette Danielle as Lisa. Though she's thankfully not nearly as bad as Tommy Wiseau, Juliette's acting was too over the top to be believable. Then there's Philip Haldeman, who plays Denny. Philip was practically on the same level as Tommy with his repulsive delivery. Not to mention that this kid is kind of creepy. I just like to watch Finally, you have Greg Sestero's Mark. Greg was the best actor out of all of them. And even he made me want to strangle myself with the wire of a rusty coat hanger. That being said, the atrocious acting didn't sit well with me. But if you're a fan of campy B-movie, I can't do this. Not even if you're a fan of that garbage should you plague your eyes and ears with the room. How the fuck did Tommy Wiseau raise six million dollars for this piece of shit? It baffles me. On the plus side, the room's Blu-ray quality is actually okay. Yo, uh, Kyle, what's the deal with the ball? I don't know. The amount of film grain and compressed audio felt minimal. And that's the only compliment I have for the room. For starters, the movie lacks warm or cool colors to support the tone, instead becoming muddled somewhere in the middle. Its green screen effects were dreadful, and the composition was too dramatic during scenes where nothing happens. And can someone tell me why a song by the Backstreet Boys plays during the simulated sex scene? <laughs> Why, Tommy, why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, I'm so angry. God, forgive me. Wait a minute. Tommy Wiseau is a genius. The same way Citizen Kane is a brilliant film, the room kind of is too. Citizen Kane had economic direction, a stellar cast, and an entertaining plot. The room had lingering, obtrusive shots, an appalling cast, and practically no story. It's as if Tommy analyzed Citizen Kane before setting out to make a cult. No! Before I watched The Room, I had hoped that it would be so bad it's good, but it doesn't deserve that honor. The Room is not a movie so bad that it needs to be seen. It's a movie so bad that it needs to be forgotten. The Room gets a zero out of 10. So what are your thoughts? Is The Room actually worth watching or not? And why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, 
Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? Can you meet the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is prettier than us. <laughs>